Good day YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick and fun video on a RAM comparison between the latest release of Ubuntu 19.04 and actually the oldest release of uh, Windows that's still supported these days, Windows 7. And it might seem like a bit of an odd comparison, but uh, really the reason between these two is because uh, Windows 7 is actually running out of uh, its long-term service release or its security updates and patches and that sort of thing within the next 6 to 12 months or so from what I hear, which means uh, a lot of people might be uh, have an old machine that they're looking to upgrade to Ubuntu for instance to continue to uh, use it on a day to ba day basis but also still have those security updates use it for web browsing, just simple things of that nature so if we were to go to a terminal in Ubuntu to start with uh, we'll see a couple of things uh, and first of all is the RAM which is always a really good key marker as to how much uh, uh, how slow it might be or how fast it might be on an older machine for instance here so if we jump across to Windows Task Manager on the right as well we can see there is a little bit of a difference here interestingly an operating system that came out in I believe 2006 as opposed to 2019 on the left for Ubuntu is running at uh, straight off the bat no other nothing else is open it's just basically uh, booted from scratch and you're looking at about 250 megabytes of, uh, of difference which is pretty pretty fantastical pretty full-on considering that uh, these D uh, distros are about yeah 13 years apart by the looks of things there that's pretty that's pretty good to see now Ubuntu hasn't always been this good surprisingly it's it's happened to be optimized and be a little bit better with the recent uh, most recent releases in fact I think it was only this version of Ubuntu 19.04 that it started to come down around which is nice to see having a look at uh, the CPU usage as well uh, not a great deal here actually no it, it is spiking at the moment you, you never know why but uh, there's probably a few things in the back end running there and then with uh, Windows a little bit of the same it was 2% 2 12% 1% 0% not bad if that's possible 36% okay very similar so very hard to determine what's going on there really and uh, if it's legitimate or not with the CPU core utilizations there but uh, basically uh, you could actually run your Ubuntu uh, from your Windows machine so you could actually pop Ubuntu onto that Windows 7 machine if you wish because it will run a bit smoother a little bit faster in my experience at least anyway and the, the RAM specs don't really lie here otherwise they they also do point to this little factoid as well so that's pretty much it guys super fun simple quick video to show you guys a little bit of a difference between the two but mostly when it comes to the hardware specs and in particular the RAM random access memory so cheers guys hope you've enjoyed enjoyed please comment please subscribe all of those nice things there and thanks for watching